Welcome to the Cyberary video series on the CompTIA Security Plus 501 Certification and Exam. I'm your instructor, Ron Werner. Please visit Cyberary.it for more information on the Security Plus Certification and many others. This is the introductory video for Domain 1 on Threats, Attacks, and Vulnerabilities. This domain is worth 21% on the Security Plus exam. The first domain deals with the basic need of every information security professional, being able to recognize and understand the different sources of threats, types of attacks, and vulnerabilities that may be seen on systems and that may be exploited. For instance, given a scenario, which you'll hear quite often throughout Security Plus, given a scenario, candidates must be able to, to analyze indicators of compromise, IOC, and determine the types of malware. Is it a virus? Is it a Trojan? Is it a worm? Is it ransomware? Ready to encrypt company data and ask for Bitcoin? Or maybe it's an insider that created a logic bomb designed to wipe out files if he or she is terminated from the company. Or did the employee or some malicious insider deploy a rat, remote access Trojan, so he or she could still have access to the corporate network even after termination? You must also know how to compare and contrast types of attacks from the many different tactics of social engineering, phishing, spear phishing, whaling, vishing, tailgating, and impersonation to application service attacks such as DOS and DDoS, denial of service, man in the middle attacks, buffer overflows, injection, and cross-site scripting, or common web attacks. You may also encounter privilege escalation, wireless attacks like replay, evil twin, rogue access points, jamming, and cryptographic attacks such as birthday, known plain text, ciphertext, rainbow tables, dictionary, brute force, collision, replay, and weak implementations. It is also necessary to be able to explain concepts such as threat actor types and attributes. What is the difference between organized crime and hacktivism? How can a nation state be a threat? Other questions include what level of sophistication should you expect from and what are the differences and motivations behind insiders and external attacks. You are also expected to know the key concepts of penetration testing, including various approaches, black box, gray box, white box, tactics, active reconnaissance, passive reconnaissance, escalation of privilege, and so forth associated with pen testing. Other concepts in this domain, including explaining vulnerability scanning, types of vulnerabilities such as race conditions, improper input and error handling, untrained users, memory buffer overflows, architecture design weaknesses, new threats, zero day threats, improper certificates, and key management. There are six sections in domain one, which you see listed on your screen. I'll have multiple videos to discuss each of these sections. Use your study material as you're watching these videos to further learn about each of these concepts. Get as much hands-on practice as you can as well. This will all help you as you study for the Security Plus exam and as you work to become a security professional.